there, my key blasting capsule corp inventors. Today, we're not just breaking the sound barrier, we're shattering the limits of nostalgia as we power up into the high flying, energy blasting world of Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Get ready to don your orange gi because we're about to take a kamehameha size dive into the game that lets us all believe that yes, if we yell loud enough, our hair might just turn blonde in anger. In the early 2000s, the world of video games witnessed the fusion of a beloved anime with the digital realm, giving birth to Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Its development journey, spearheaded by Dimps and published by Bandai, was a significant undertaking aimed at translating the explosive energy and iconic battles of the Dragon Ball Z anime into a form that fans could experience hands-on. The game was developed during a period when the popularity of Dragon Ball Z was soaring globally, yet the market for anime-based video games was still unproven and risky. The development team faced the challenge of capturing the essence of Dragon Ball Z characters and story arcs while ensuring the game's mechanics were engaging and accessible for both fans of the series and newcomers. This involved a meticulous process of selecting which characters to include given the vast roster available from the anime. The final game featured a lineup that allowed players to engage with key figures from the series, such as Goku, Vegeta, and Piccolo, each carefully designed to reflect their abilities and personalities as seen on TV. A significant focus during the development was on creating a combat system that mirrored the dynamic and visually spectacular fights of the anime. This led to the implementation of a combination of basic attacks, special moves, and the ability to transform mid-battle, a feature that captured the essence of power-ups seen in the anime. The game's developers implemented a key system that players had to manage during fights, adding a layer of strategy to the high-paced action. Balancing these gameplay elements was critical to ensuring that Budokai remained true to its source material while being fun and fair. The developers employed a variety of techniques, including playtesting and feedback loops, to fine-tune character abilities ensuring that no single character was overwhelmingly powerful and that fights felt balanced and competitive. Graphically, Dragon Ball Z Budokai aimed to replicate the anime's distinctive style, utilizing cell shading technology to give characters and environments a hand-drawn look. This choice was crucial in immersing players into the Dragon Ball Z universe, making battles feel like they were lifted straight from the anime episodes. The roster included iconic characters such as Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, and Frieza, among others, ensuring that players could engage with their favorites from the series. Each character was meticulously designed to reflect their abilities and personalities as seen in the anime. For instance, Goku could transform into Super Saiyan, a crucial aspect for his character which significantly enhanced his powers in the game. Similarly, the characters like Piccolo and Vegeta had unique abilities that mirrored their special techniques allowing players to execute moves such as the Special Beam Cannon or the Final Flash. The inclusion of these transformations and special moves was not just a nod to the source material, it added depth to the gameplay, requiring players to strategize on when to use these powers. This system of character-specific abilities and transformations introduced a layer of complexity and replayability, as mastering each character's capabilities became a game within itself. 
Budokai Story was another area where the game shined, offering players a chance to relive the most memorable arcs from the Dragon Ball series. The narrative closely followed the anime storyline, from the Saiyan Saga through the Cell games, allowing players to experience the key battles and moments firsthand. This mode was not just about fighting, it was about immersing the players into the Dragon Ball Z world, complete with cutscenes and dialogue that captured the essence of the anime. The integration of the story with the gameplay was executed in a way that balanced narrative progression with player engagement. Players could unlock new characters and abilities as they advanced through the story, mirroring the character's growth within the show. This approach not only rewarded players for their progress, but also kept them invested in the storyline, encouraging them to see the journey through to the end. At its core, Budokai featured a combat system that was easy to grasp, but challenging to master. Players could execute a variety of attacks, including punches, kicks, and energy blasts with simple button combinations. This accessibility ensured that even players new to fighting games could jump in and start battling. However, beneath this simplicity lay a deep layer of strategic depth. Advanced techniques such as combo chaining, counters, and teleportation added a rich layer of complexity for the seasoned players. These mechanics required precise timing and strategic thinking, mirroring the tactical battles seen in the anime. Central to Budokai's gameplay was the key management system, which faithfully replicated the importance of energy in Dragon Ball Z battles. Key served as a resource for executing powerful energy attacks and transformations. Managing key effectively became a crucial strategy, as players had to decide when to conserve energy and when to unleash devastating attacks. This system added a significant strategic component to fights, encouraging players to think carefully about their next move, much like the characters in the anime would during their battles. Each character in Budokai came with their unique set of special moves and transformations, further enhancing the game's depth. The abilities were not just visually impressive, they were integral to the characters' identities and had significant implications for gameplay. For example, Goku's ability to transform into Super Saiyan granted him increased power, but at the cost of continuous key consumption. This trade-off required players to adapt their strategy in real time, deciding when the benefits of transformation would outweigh its costs. Transformations and special moves also served as a way to turn the tide of battle, offering players a chance to make a comeback when they were at a disadvantage. This dynamic closely mirrored the dramatic comeback seen in the anime, capturing the essence of Dragon Ball Z's most iconic moments. Grimble before my power! I'll show you the horrors of hell. Upon its release, Dragon Ball Z Budokai quickly became a bestseller, with millions of copies sold worldwide. The game's success was not just a testament to the enduring popularity of the Dragon Ball Z franchise, but also the quality of the game itself. It managed to capture the essence of the anime in a way that appealed to both hardcore fans and newcomers alike. The game's sales figures were impressive, making it one of the best-selling titles for the platform it was released on. This commercial success was a clear indication that there was a substantial market for anime-based video games, provided they were done right. <laughs> the depth of Budokai's gameplay mechanics also gave rise to a competitive scene, with tournaments and events being organized by fans. These competitive gatherings showcased the skill and dedication of the game's player base, highlighting the strategic depth that could be achieved within its fighting system. Tournaments provided a platform for top players to demonstrate the mastery of the game, from executing flawless combos to strategically managing key during battles. Now, as we journeyed through the key-blasted landscapes of Dragon Ball Z Budokai, it's clear this isn't just another entry in the vast sea of video games. 
It's a Super Saiyan size leap in the realm of anime adaptations. A game that not only captured the essence of its source material, but also expanded the universe into our living rooms, creating a new generation of Saiyans, humans, and Namekians. Uh, well, at least in spirit. And who knows, maybe, just maybe, if you listen closely during your next gameplay session, you'll hear the faint echo of a Kamehameha, a reminder of the battle spot, the friendships formed, and the countless hours spent in pursuit of becoming the ultimate Z fighter. Because in the end, isn't that what we all strive for? To be the best, to beat our last high score, or to simply enjoy the journey along the way. In the world of Dragon Ball Z Budokai, we've got all three to do. And for that, we say, thank you, Budokai. You were over 9,000. If you enjoyed this look back on Dragon Ball Z Budokai, click this video to see more from the Retro Reload. And as always, thanks for watching.